I want to share with you guys a small project that I've been working on, and it would be this wireless desktop phone and accessory charging stand. On the top, it uses a magnetic wireless phone charger that was intended for use in vehicles. On the bottom, there's a spot for charging an accessory like a smartwatch or perhaps even some Apple AirPods. It makes your devices easily accessible on the top of your desk and your phone can be viewed both vertically and horizontally. We'll get into the assembly, but first you should know that all of the parts are 3D printed and you'll find a link to all of these files for free down in the video description below. All the parts are super easy to print and the only part that would need any support is the main body and it should look something like this when you print it. I've laid out all the parts here so you can see them including some optional ones. First we have the bottom trim that the main base will sit on top of, we'll put that aside for now. And then we have the wireless phone charger, I'll put a link to that in the video description down below so it's easy for you guys to find. And then I've got two printed pieces here that will fit into the bottom of the main stand body. This one here is for a Samsung Galaxy watch charger. We'll talk about that in a minute, but the first one is just this blank empty tray. It's meant to hold a generic accessory, such as a case for Apple AirPods or some other wireless headphones. And you can simply take a USB-C cable and slip it through the back and you can connect your device that you wanna charge. I have a different brand of wireless headphones and you can see that this case will fit but I've also designed it to fit a standard AirPod case. Now, if you don't plan on charging anything in the base, obviously you don't need a charging cable and you can just store anything down there, even some USB sticks or whatever accessory you'd like. Alternatively, you can print the smartwatch charger holders. And this one here is for the Samsung Galaxy series. And in the downloadable files, I also have one for the Apple watches. First, you put the charger holder into the main body, and then you can fish the USB-A size cable through the hole in the back. All of these wireless puck chargers are magnetic, so optionally, you can get an M8 flathead screw, or even if you're in the United States and it's easier to find a 5 16 flathead screw, you can grab one of those and twist it into the base. I've sized the hole so the screw should cut its own threads as you tighten it in, but it's important that you get the USB-A cable in first and then tighten the screw down. And I just wanna reiterate that that screw is totally optional, but it will hold the charging puck in a little better. And then you can take the cable and wrap it around the back and the bottom through the strain relief and it will press fit into that groove. Up at the top, we've got a pretty standard 17 millimeter ball mount, and this works perfect for these car style chargers. I've tried a few of them and I personally like the look of this one, plus I find that the magnets on this one are very strong. There were a few others that I went through during testing that were a little underwhelming and the phone would frequently fall off, but this one's solid. Again, I'll put a link to that in the video description down below. On the bottom of the charger, there is a USB-C port and that should be facing down. I've snugged up the nut on the back just to add enough friction where I can position the magnetic holder where I want my phone angled and then I can fully tighten that nut down. Now we need to get power to the phone charger and there's another USB cable that will get fished through the back of the stand and that hole is sized for a USB-C connector as most of these chargers are now powered by a USB-C connection. And just like with the watch charger, there's a groove in the back of the stand where you can press fit in a pretty standard USB cable most of these are generally about four millimeters in diameter. And then we can put it through the strain relief at the bottom and both cables will exit out the back. This is where we can finally add our trim piece and it simply just slips onto the bottom. If you wanna make things permanent, you can of course glue these pieces in place, but perhaps later on you might change your mind and wanna print something in a different color to change up the style. And that is how simple it is to assemble and now it's ready to accept the phone and watch and if you haven't already downloaded and printed the parts, I hope you're ready to give it a try by checking out the video description down below where you'll find the links to these files all for free. I would love to see the different color combinations that you guys can come up with and perhaps some of you guys can even remix the files and share them. Perhaps you have your own unique way of personalizing this project for your own needs. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys decide to check out some of my other videos.